Hi, welcome to another episode of Comma Comma TV. There's a mistake that I think we all see quite regularly in marketing. We may not identify it consciously, but it's something that stops us buying from someone. And that is where the message that you see in the first piece of marketing from a company does not match up with what you see further down the line. So say you might click on a Facebook ad or a link in an email and go to a landing page um, and you just don't see what you'd expect to see on, on that landing page. Um, or it could be further down the chain where you get an email from a company and the tone doesn't match up with what you've seen from that company already and it just makes you a little bit distrustful of them. Um, and I was reminded of that this week when I was shown a Facebook ad for a new co-working space in the centre of Birmingham. Um, now I already have a co-working space that I love, but often when I'm in town for a meeting, I, I could do with somewhere quiet to work. The cafes in town tend to be pretty busy. Uh, and I thought it might be a good option for that. And they were offering a free trial day. So I thought, okay, well, that sounds good. I'll sign up for that, see what it's like, um, and see if they have a drop-in uh, system. So I signed up for the ad. Uh, the ad was very funky. It had a really cool looking space. Uh, it talked about um, a feeling of community. It talked about really great coffee. I don't drink coffee, but I thought the fact that they care about coffee means, you know, it's probably a good place to be. Um, so I clicked through, I went to a landing page and the messages all matched up. It was similar pictures, similar sort of vibe to the page. And so I put my email address in and I thought it would give me, you know, some kind of code or maybe a scheduling page that I could book my free day, but nothing really happened. So I thought, okay, they're going to email me. So I checked my email later and there was nothing from this company, but there was an email from another company um, a well-known national company that, that has a lot of office space but has a completely different feel to this company that I'd originally signed up for. Um, and I thought, oh, that's a bit weird. So I did a bit of investigating online and found that actually this really funky looking company was owned by this other big corporate company that didn't have the same vibe at all. And that it was clear from their website of this funky company that they had deliberately tried to keep their branding very separate. So to then send an email to me from, from you know, the parent company was a crazy thing to do because it immediately made me distrustful and think, oh, well, that's not who I thought I was dealing with and that they don't strike me as particularly funky and community spirited. So I, I was no longer interested in, in going along to this space, which is a shame for the company because they'd obviously done a lot of work to get the right messaging for that space. So it's just something to think about in your own marketing. When you're, um, when you're looking through your funnels, through your campaigns, maybe get somebody else outside of your business to go through them and just check that all the messages match up. They all make sense, they all have the same feel. Um, so you're not creating that sense of distrust in your marketing. Uh, that's all from me this week. I'm heading off for Christmas. I've got a week off. I hope you're taking some time off too. Uh, have a really great time with your friends, with your family over Christmas, and I'll see you in the new year. Bye for now.